All right, we are back right. in the Go Format War League. And as you know, in the Go Format War League, sometimes there's beef and sometimes it needs to get settled. I'm here with myself and Shaggy Powers, captain of the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Team. And we are watching a money match, feature match between Derek and co-founder World Gone Mad. Shaggy, what do you think about this matchup, man? Um, I like it. Uh, it's three days in the making. There's been a lot of ducking. There's been a lot of jacking. <laughs> and uh, finally, we're getting this going here. A lot of controversy leading into this match. Couldn't agree on money. Disappearances. Finally, some people put up some money for some people, and here we are. All right. So yeah, play, I think their plan ended up being for what twenty five dollars is what the what the final amount ended up being. Twenty five. Twenty five bucks. You know. So you ask for smoke, sometimes you get it. We got World Girl Mad in the blue corner. We got Derek in the red corner. Uh, we came in a little late, but we got the what, what's happening here. We got Nomen Cross out on the Sangin. Battle phase. Uh, 14 and 17 in the face, man. World Go Mad is going down pretty bad right now. Who knows? Yeah, it's not looking. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't look terrible. It looks like GM's on control. We saw the one level one mimic. <clears throat> um, I'd like to see some. The Koichi is just going to keep slapping down. If he's got Sook, this is terrible. This is going to be really shit. All right, so he got a, got a double set with a, with a T set. Throw back over to Derek. Uh, Derek goes draw phase. Thinking about it. Thinking about, talking about, thinking about. So if I can say one thing. Yeah, say is whatever you want, man. If, if Derek lets, if WGM starts talking and Derek lets him get in his head, that's going to be a big downfall for him. WGM's really good at getting you to play his game. I know this from experience. He will get in your head and you won't even know he's in it. <laughs> so Just inf infiltrate your, your mind space. Uh, Derek yeah, is exactly. uh, Derek, Derek. I believe he is on Team Solitaire, while uh, World Gone Mad is the founder of LRG. So we got a season season veteran versus the newcomer to the format. I know Derek is a good uh, modern player, as the rest of the Solitaire guys, but uh, that's how it happened. They got a little chippy, and they threw some cash online, and that's how it worked out. Mind control taking Dequichi. Probably gonna flip Game that. deck mind control. A little pre, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, I guess you could say it's a little pre. It's a little, a little pre. Just a, the slight, a slight amount of pre. No big deal. But that's that's the meta, man. You gotta work on Matt as a as a seasoned player. You should know, you know. Well, this was a possibility. You never know. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the track record, what he's been playing lately. I guess it's not a bad choice to put in the main deck. This Dakoichi is really beating his face in right now. What do you think those two sets are? He's got. Do you think he's got his patent pending return set back there? Maybe uh, scapegoats. Maybe he's trying to save him. Who knows? What do you think we're going to sit on back there? Um, if he does have scapegoat, he wouldn't chain it yet. He wouldn't activate it. So definitely could have scapegoats. I mean, we saw the mix, so I don't, I wouldn't expect to see return. Oh, it was the zing. He had the main deck zing. So they both doing a little bit of, a little bit of pre preparation, preparation of the battlefield against each other. Chains MST. Main deck zing, zing is a nice item. Are they going to change MST, uh, freeing himself of the Zing Zang situation? Um, that other set's probably scapegoat. I would not be surprised. Sukiyomi will be strong here. Getting that to Koichi, getting another Suki card in there. Nice. And it was. Sukiyomi, he it had is. it. Will uh, Derek chain It's going to allow a... WGM to build back into the game. Let's see if a Ring of, Struct Ring, Ring of Destruction will come down. Nothing in response, so he gets another free plus on that Dekoiki. Love to see it if you are WGM. That's that's nice after the mine con of the Dekoichi and losing the mimic and the Sangen with Nox. Up oh, now he's gonna get a get be able to start going off here. Jay Z, have you seen Derek play at all? I I, I can honestly I did. say I, I don't think I've seen him I've, play. I've, I've watched I've watched Derek play over the last two weeks. Uh, Derek has been in the unfortunate position of being the anchor of the solitaire team and not being able to clutch it out. I think that was some of the the background of some of the beef that was happening or beef. I say beef in very loose quotations because, you know, some of the, the differences that they had, the small differences they had was the fact that Derek couldn't seem to close it out and he let his team down or whatever, uh, a 2-2 two -two situation. He just fumbled it. But I think Derek's good, man. He, I mean, these things happen. Yeah, I mean a good a good current player I think can come over to goats and if they can learn the meta and deck building and you know how to how to play this type of format, um, I think they can hang with some of the best. 
I think the issue a lot of new players have when they get accustomed to when they get acquainted with WGM is is the is not understanding who he is. The, the trash talk it's it's not as deep as people like to make it as like as much as they like to make it seem it is. Right. He that's just his, that's just what he does. It's kind of, it's like pushing, you know. That's what he says. With people he does it with people on his team. He just likes to give you shit, you know. And it's only it's only so it's I on- think people take it a little bit hard. It's only personal if you if you take it personal, but I think things got a little yeah, personal. And, make it personal. and now there's some uh, there's some money on the line for this one. Uh, another upstart goblin yeah. is going off. Uh, six cards looks like to six cards, so they're very even right now with uh, Derek on the turn main phase one, thinking about something. Yeah, Derek's got the life point advantage here. It's going to be interesting to see now at even cards what he decides to do. I don't play. I don't play. Got very a many. light in the grave. I don't. I don't play very many money matches. I, I don't. I don't know how these, these guys are, are brave enough to do that. You're not either. I, I definitely I do not play I, money I matches. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have faith and confidence in my Yu-Gi-Oh dueling skills just yet to put actual currency on this game. So we're gonna go ahead and try to crash. Ghost three. Gotta I mean that puts a light and dark in the grave for him. Um, puts a light and dark in the grave for WGM as well. Mm. I don't think we've seen a knock yet from WGM, so it'll be interesting to see what we get a set up here. All right. Go ahead and sets two more and throws down another set monster, throws back over to WGM. It, I would have to think there's a Solemn back there, and WGM's going to do what he can to bait one of those out to try to get the life point in playing field. Go and drop this hard drops the sort. There's a hard drop. That's, that is a attack position chaos sorcerer on the field. You think he not? He's got the nobleman here, or he's, he's got to have it? I think nobleman would be a good uh, a good call. But I can't see how many cards W Jim has left in the deck at this time. I can see Derek sitting on twenty six. This is really nice. Keiko gets slammed, and right into the torrential the tribute. TV. Good patience. What patience by. Uh, by Derek. Let's see if WGM has a follow-up for that torrential tribute. I Tri- definitely think you want to hold the TT because you know he's going to summon something else. If And if he doesn't, if you have a flipper, which, what did he have, Deco? Yeah, you're just plussing off that anyway, so oh, and he straight it's fine. Slam the BLS. BLS comes down with vigor and quickness and the spy. Just, he's got to be sitting on Solemn Judgment, so he TTs there. Wow. Right into a Solemn Judgment, oh, and solemn. Derek That's takes good. game one. Wow. Man. So, no Derek, respect. no, he had the Solemn Judgment. I think they both played it pretty tight. That was a very tight, well-played uh, well played Yu-Gi-Oh! duel. Going into game two, uh, hopefully we'll see what their side decks have to offer for each other, but uh, Derek's got to be feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit calm that he... Uh, Got that victory. He's looking forward to spending some of WGM's hard-earned cash. Um, but anything can happen. It's it's uh, it's it's one zero. Derek's up. Uh, we'll see what their side deck. And maybe more mine cons are coming in. Maybe more zings are coming in. Uh, maybe maybe we'll see a return coming in for WGM. Who knows what's going to take place? Anything. Can I happen. mean, we didn't. So we didn't see any scapegoat. We didn't see any meta. It's possible that mimic is just a tech. I mean, That's... I think it, 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 WGM have the advantage in the side decking. I think he's just he's. He's really good at coming up with different texts. You know, the joke always is WGM invented this and yeah. that. And um, I think it's good for Derek to get the game one win. I think it's going to take a lot of pressure off of him with, you know, how the fact that this this money match has been taking three days to get going. You know, everybody's got 10 people in watchers right now. Everyone's going to see this later. So losing this would, would suck. He's going to get a lot of crap talked his way. And this, I mean, this, these are some of the things that happen in the uh, in the goat format war league. Uh, this is not a war league game. This is just a a, a grudge match that that just took place over time. So we'll continue to do these uh, if, if if time permits. Uh, put this put a stream up and see if we can get people to watch it because it's very interesting, high level play uh, for something on the line. You got actual money is being exchanged for the uh, for the outcome of this game. Uh, Thunder Dragon goes off. WGM is going to go first, obviously. Always nice to see that in your hand. Get it your out of the way. hand. Unless you get more than one. I think one. there's something to see. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's not good. Well, let's see if he has more than one. Oh, he got them both yes. out of the deck. Okay, so he's, perfect. He's feeling, he's feeling good about that. I think there's something to say, too, about um, 
taking these money matches, I think putting money on the line, it adds a little bit of pressure that you don't get from just your average game. And I think that pressure is going to heighten your senses to make you want to play as tight and as oh, best as you possibly can. Absolutely. It could be me. I could, I could imagine uh, throwing some... Throwing I mean, some either, man. I mean, we can all go back to the scoreboard from week three and watch my game. Oh, and, but don't, uh, don't, yeah, don't do that. Don't. No business. Oh, no man. business taking a money match right now. Shaggy, you should have came on to the... Uh, you should have came on to the War League weekly video that we just finished shooting and explain what's going on with our with our dueling team. We're down we're down pretty bad right now. We're not in a, we're not in a good we're spot. We're down bad. <laughs> we're down bad. It's only 3 weeks in. It's a long season. I mean, at the end of the day, five guys one Kuru has not lost a single game, single match, excuse me, this entire season. So, I I mean, obviously, I don't think we should have been swept at all, but yeah. They are proving to everyone right now that they are one of the strongest teams in the league. Right, and, and there no one's been able to answer them yet. And stay stay tuned for that uh, for that actual uh, release that will be released on Sunday somewhere around uh, nine Eastern. I'll try to get that out. Show the recap <sighs> recap of the week. But Derek comes out with a very strong opening of Star Goblin into it's Potter Green into opening. Nobman across out three green cards. You would absolutely love to see that hitting the Dekoichi too, man. That's not bad. That's not a bad hit. Uh, it's not a bad hit. I'm really interested to see if UBGM is on return. Um, because if he is, you don't you don't hate that getting knocked right now. I mean, this is a really good opening for Derek. So I love I love to see a lot of a lot of green in my openings, man. I like to see a lot of that. Green lot is of, good. Yeah, green green is good. I like to see green in my openings. I like to see it in my bank account. I like hey, to see it in my fridge. I all of it. You know, green is good. I don't want to see. I don't want to see any. Uh, a lot of that orange. A lot of that orange. I mean, I can't. I can't really do do nothing with all the orange, man. I'm... Uh, orange. <laughs> orange is whatever. You know, grass is green, bro. You want that green shit. That's what he says, and then he gets the he gets the late thunder coming out of there. Interesting. That that's the the line he takes. That... That's just a for me. That's a dead. That's a dead giveaway. That that's a that's a discard trap. I think that's a that's a little that shows your inexperience. Why kinda... set before thunder dragon? What's that? Why, why set before Thunder Dragoning? What, just because you just you just you just you're just letting your opponent know that that's a that that's probably a discard trap, or you're trying to bluff that as a dis I, if I don't know. It's in my experience. I bet that's Wing Blast or Regeki Break or something. We'll see right here. He's got to play it. It might be a Mirror Force. I don't know. It could be anything. It's gonna be Wing Blast. It's a discard trap. He's got to use it right now. He's going to. He's got to do something. You can't let that Kaiko do you like this. Regeki Break. It'd be a jog, I guess, but that's weird. That was, that was, he just took it. Oh wow! Okay, that was a that was an interesting sequencing of that. But it, I guess it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. He eats that eighteen right I on mean, to the face. He only has one light in the graveyard. It, it's not that you still have the two thunder dragons in your hand. You could pitch them. You know, failure to find. It just to set it before pitching the thunder dragons makes me think about what card that could possibly be. Mm hmm. It's, it's not like you pitch the thunder dragons. He's gonna dust shoot. He's not going to get the information of what that set card is, but that was a telltale sign to me that it was probably a discard trap. Yeah, but now it. this Kaiku's sitting on the field, and he's got to do something with it because he can't do much with that Kaiku blasting into his life points, preventing him to summon any chaos <laughs> monsters. And he's, and he's thinking about it, talking about it, thinking about it. What do you think of the think emoji? <laughs> I what love it. Think of that? I am a, I am an advocate of the think emoji. I wish they had more emojis for everything. I think, I think standby phase should get an emoji. I think main phase one should get an emoji. I think attacking direct should get an emoji. I think there should be emojis for every aspect of our of our game. You discard every hand. Time I see that emoji, I think of like what the opposing person's face looks like as the emoji yeah is that weird <laughs> yeah I, I can see that i can see that you know a little bit of this almost I like love reading it. the chat log in their voice <laughs> but i'm i'm seeing their face in the emoji even though i don't know what they look like <laughs> i read whenever whenever i hear someone's voice from now on now that i know what shifty sounds like and now i know what lucas sounds like and whenever i hear people's voice i read their uh whenever they post in discord or wherever i read their words as their voice and it's, it's pretty funny to, to think about sometimes you know you know what we should get instead of the think emoji is we should get some of these war league face emotes oh as the emojis yeah that that come that. when you're thinking so he went to the he went deep into the think tank to land on normal summon tribe 
hopefully he retains priority based on that conversation that was going on today. Priority comes out and smacks uh, Spellcasters. See what WGM does about that. Now, WGM, you see, let's ride. Ride, you had 1600, not too shabby. I mean, if he has another Kaiku, it can run straight over this tribe. It's kind of the weakness of tribe. It gets run over by a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. That's 1600. That 1600 is not what it used to be. 1600 used to be a pretty uh, a pretty beefy stat line, but now it's a little more compromised. Yeah. Now, upstart goblins, you know, they just add those 2,000 life points to your to you in the game. It makes you I, it, like I love when my opponent plays upstart just for the fact that I'm gaining life points. Like the whole objective of the game is not losing your life points. Like. That's why I don't really like playing upstart all that much. I mean, I'm a bad player. I probably should be playing them. Oh, we're going to get an end phase goats here. End phase goats. So he did this have the goats. This is pretty nice. It's probably safe to say that return is not in this deck. I would uh, I would uh, think that is a safe assumption. You don't want to set you don't want to set trans. You don't want to set patterns maybe. I don't know. Uh, but maybe meta's coming down. Let's see what happens here. Slaps at the main I, phase. I, one. I would have to think so. Maybe he, threw, maybe he threw a creature swap in there, so he's going to clear out the back row, trying to get rid of all those Book of Moons. Let's see what that's very set, nice heavy storm. What is that set card behind uh, that tribe? Is that Solemn tribe, Judgment, yeah. maybe? What is that? I'm interested to see what that is. This is Discard Trap. I just got five schmeckles, dude, for we're calling it. It's possible it was just like an interesting sequencing he tried to make. I mean, I know tactics are a thing. Some people like to try to do interesting tactics with how they the lines they make and how they play certain cards and i try to do that and it doesn't really work for me I mean, so i if i would i would love to see what this card is to I, see if there's something that i could be doing better and i i do that i do that sometimes too if i'm playing against someone who is significantly better than i am sometimes i'll just do some wazoo stuff to just throw them off of their throw them off their game because they might not they might they know what's going to happen they know what should happen they know what cards you should be playing but if you, I feel if you play just some off the wall stuff and do some stuff that they don't know about, maybe you can kind of catch them, catch them off guard. I don't know. I thought. think there's definitely something to throwing people off the scent, catching them by surprise. Mm. It's a surprise factor. Wow factor is a thing. But Derek is taking a while thinking about this heavy storm. I mean, either you're gonna play it or you're not gonna play it. Uh, I, you got to make it happen at some point. I guess his question is going to be him. So this is where WM is going to start getting into his head. Yeah. Effects in the graveyard. Uh, the next best thing he could do is summon Donzalug and roll the dice before he swings for 1,400. He's ringing up. And he's going to ring. A what is he ringing? If he rings his own tribe. No. Okay, he's going to ring a goat. What took so long to think about that, I wonder? That seemed like a pretty... That's interesting. Well, that's the card he set when he pitched Thunder Dragon. So. Right. Okay. So I was wrong. I don't get. Any, oh, there's the discard trap though. But I don't get. I get no schmeckles there. Just a sequencing. <laughs> just a sequencing thing, I guess. I'm not quite sure why you would set it before you pitch for Thunder Dragon, but. Oh, there is that second Kaiku you're talking about. Slams down. Yeah, it's just such a good card, man. Like hitting over 1600. Just beating up tribes. Big reason I don't even like to keep tribe against warriors just because every warrior monster other than Don's Luke and DD Warrior Lady beat over it. Hmm. So now Derek's back into the back into the think tank. Somebody, some would say he's no. Kinda, I, I, I would consider I don't know maybe because I I'm a very fast player I probably should play a little bit slower. But I would consider this a little right. slow play. What would you think about the, the I think pace? It's slow. And I am probably one of the slowest players in the league. I oh. get made fun of for how slow I play. So if I'm telling you you play slow, you probably need to uh, up the miles per hour on the treadmill there <laughs> and uh, get to hit the Hit the gas pedal a little bit, speed it along. I don't know. Put, Let's put go, in the exercise. Summer's coming. Get that summer bod going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But imagine a lot of us are sitting while we're playing. You know, the faster you play, the better you're gonna look. You know, summer's coming. We've got beach weather on the way. Pick up the pace. Let's make it happen, Derek. Um, there it is. He sets one. He sets two. All right. So, uh, that's probably not going to be the Dequoichi. Obviously, could it be the Magician of Faith that he's trying to get? 
no, no, no world gone mad has not played a nobleman across out. So there's a good chance that uh, maybe this is a test for the nobleman to then go for the magician of faith. Um, who knows? So we haven't tested the knock yet. He has we? not. No, the world gone mad has not played a nobleman across out. He has five cards in hand. One of those could be nobleman across out. Maybe this is a test for that right now. Let's see how he plays it out. Thinking about it deeply. But getting that uh getting a second pot of greed right now would be would be pretty would be a pretty sticky situation for for, for for WGM. I don't know if he wants that to, to happen. So he's really going through it right now, thinking about it. Um, They're both... I think he has to think a little bit too, because if he wants to apply pressure and be able to punch in more to banish the tribe and whatever the set monster is by summoning another monster, he has to worry about T T with all the scope with all the goats Ooh, yeah. out. So he could even potentially be thinking BLS banish. Oh, he's just going to slam the Sork. Sork has been slammed. He's saying you don't got think, it, Derek. Yeah. Thumbs up Put is him good. on it. I think it, there's something to be said about summoning the Sork or the BLS before you banish. It, that is just some very, like, macho energy. I always banish first, and I feel like that's kind of weak. Maybe it's better to just slap it down <laughs> before you banish. Oh, I, I, I always, I always, always, always hit him with the slap down, unless, unless it is for game. If it's for game, I would just go one light, one Ooh. dark, and then you put it out um, instead of that is, you know if it, if it's if game is online, if it's if it's for game, I always one light, one dark, and then put it out to win. But if it's just like a play like that, I'll always put it out first and then one light, one dark. That's just me. That's my protocol. It's better, because then it's it's like it's leading them into their impending doom. Right. And sometimes if you got the if, if you got if you got the if you got the stones, sometimes in a tight situation, you could just one light, one dark, and don't even have it, and your opponent just quits, dude. And then you just get a cheap win. No, I'm kidding. Don't don't do that. That's 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 shenanigans. That's, that is misleading the shareholders. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is a scam like activity. Here's the magician of faith right here this time. So he did the knock. Oh, ready. it was spy. Oh, oh man. it's a spy. Okay. Another well, spy comes down. So he's really showing how weak, his, how weak his hand is. Because Derek, uh, and that's just, I mean, playing playing online. That's just some of the things that you uh, that you really don't encounter a lot. You got to make sure you're shuffling your hand. You got to make sure you are projecting strength, even if you're playing from a weakened position. Because uh, he just showed, he just drew right off the top of the deck and slapped that thing down. So it just shows like your hand is looking kind of weak. I don't know. Yeah, you definitely, oh, uh, for all the new players that might be thinking about coming into the league, you definitely should be shuffling your hand every turn you draw. Yeah. Every time you pitch Thunder Dragon, whatever. I mean, there's an auto shuffler, but just get into <laughs> the, what do you call it? The, um, the etiquette, your dueling book etiquette, your habits. Good, your dueling good. book etiquette, your habits. That's the word <laughs> yeah. I was looking for. Thank you after my 11-hour shift today of not being able to remember what I was trying to say. Getting through your habits of shuffling at all times so you're not letting your opponent know if you're playing off the top or not. Oh. There's the faith. So the faith finally comes down, uh, gets that potty greed back, but it's not nearly as strong as it once was. But WGM is looking vulnerable. He doesn't have any protection in the back row to protect uh, the Kaiko or the Chaos Source. The Snatch Deal would be incredibly powerful here. Yeah, pretty deep in the deck now. We got a Light and Dark and Grave. Snatch Deal's good either way because you can snatch the Sork, banish the Kaiku. There's a lot that can go down here. It's interesting that there's nothing set right now for WGM. Yeah, no um, I'm wondering if that's actually portraying weakness in the hand but actually displaying power by not saying i don't need to set anything i don't care what you do i don't care if you got if you're seven more cards deep into the deck than me show me what you got derek's thinking about it mm -hmm. yeah see and so the the speed at which derek's playing is leading me into believing that his hands not as powerful as it is. I think there's something to thinking about the play, but playing at certain paces may lead your opponent to believing that you don't have certain things. A lot of a lot of thought. I mean, I don't know what what uh, maybe I, I need to think more. I need to become more of a more of an intellectual player. But I just kind of I just kind of roll with my with my gut sometimes, and just sometimes it works out, and sometimes it don't. And, I think there's uh, a balance. <laughs> I think balance. there's definitely a balance. Hmm. Well, he's still thinking about it though. Yes, I mean, I'm not sure what you're thinking about. I guess you could snatch. Oh, he's going to mine con here. 
So Mike use of the on, mind control. Mike on, on the Sork. Okay, banish the Sork. Okay, he did not banish the Sork. Banish the Kaiku. If he has Sook in hand, that's pretty strong, because then he could flip it and flip it back up and banish the Kaiku itself. Why are we rolling? Uh... I don't know. I probably misclick. Fix here. It's probably it's probably misclick. So he banishes the Kaiku. Kaiku is now out of play. Will the suit come down? That would be very strong. But then he still would. He going one light, one dark. Banish the Sork. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad. Play. All right, able to turn it around there. He's gone, so he can set. He doesn't have to worry about it. He's worried about thinking about what card he should, what monster he should set right now. I mean, the last faith kind of got through unscathed, so maybe he's thinking about putting, slapping another faith down, and trying to take another. I, I, one, take another once spin you at get it. one through, I think you want to just go for it. Why not? Nothing can hurt. I mean, if the first one makes it through, the second one will make it through. Happened once. At that point, you know they're playing off the top. You know, it's mm. you got you. You check the knock. It's gone. It's not there. That's Set it, it again. Yeah. Two out of twenty-five, though. That might be some. That might be some pretty some pretty tight odds. But it's like you already resolved the pot. Like, what is it? What is it going to hurt you to set it again, and just try to get another pot going? But yeah, if you are if you are watching this video and you are not a member of the Go Format War League, make sure you swing by. I'll put the link to the to the video to the description. Dang, I'll put the link to the, to the link to the Discord description of this video so you can find it. Get in there and spectate, man. You can see some high level games like this, uh, money matches happen all the time. MSC on that's the actually a really good point. Whether you're participating or not, being in the War League is actually really good because every replay is posted in the scoreboard section, so you could. <laughs> literally like Friday night television to your favorite episode of the bad survivor whatever uh real housewives just get in there binge all of it binge season one binge season two and learn a lot it's, it's definitely it's definitely a place to get better also oh, now he's got the no one across I don't think WGM checked his um he did he, not check and it just happened to work out let's see if this is going to be the magician of faith he didn't really have any good spells to get back anyway. Maybe the Heavy Storm would have been oh. nice to have. And it was the Dark Mimic. I think that's why it's there to just eat Nox. So maybe that was the check in itself. Potentially. Although, do we have any lights in the grave for Derek? No. Derek so I mean, it, it, Without having that many good spells, it might not have hurt to get your own Magician knocked. Unless you speculate that potentially one is in the hand for Derek. Oh, and then a Sinister Serpent comes down into attack position. Serpent beat down. Here we go. Thunder Dragon. So I think he's got. He's got. He's got to be trying to set up for something. Unless it's just. I'm. A... I'm, I'm less inclined to believing this is patience, and more inclined to believe that this is lack of cards. It can't. It, maybe he's got a monster saturated hand because he hasn't played any green. He played two spells. Uh, he hasn't played. He played one trap, and maybe it's just all. All monsters, maybe just chaos locked, um, but he hasn't he hasn't put anything down for any type of protection this entire round. It seems maybe he's just trying to play the slow game, long 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 game it. He's a very intricate player, that's for sure. Hard to predict. All right. If you have meta, you're slapping it right. You're slapping it down before you banish. I, I before you banish. I'm I'm making the joke. <laughs> oh no no. I I don't know, man. I think I'm a I think I'm a banish. I wouldn't even. I don't think if I had meta. If I'm Derek and I had meta, are oh, you talking about WGM? Talk about WGM. Oh yeah. yeah if I, if, oh yeah. I, I'm I'm slamming it. I would make him respond to that if I had it. But again, maybe I think I'm slamming it. I'm I'm popping it right on in there. Out of thinking with two cards in the hand here. Yeah, Derek. I don't know. I don't know. So he banished. Oh, banished the we token. Summon no, Thunder summon, Dragon. Summon a TD. Okay. Attack into the set. Attack before banish. I thought that was interesting. 
I thought he banished. Did he not did he, banish? Did he banish? He, he declared heard... Sork effect. Okay. So he did banish. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And a little lag there. There is the Magician of Faith. So he did get that check off. Maybe he's going to go Heavy Storm here. I get the Heavy here. And he sets the Solemn Judgment, maybe. So this is where it's going to get interesting. He's going to burn some Solemns with this Heavy, and then he could start going off. Maybe he's got even got Serpent Hand, Meta Plays, then he could get Chaos going. Yeah, Solemn. Uh, I uh, think there's a line here WG can win this turn. Yeah, if he's, got, if he's got Ring in his hand right now, and then he just blasts his Heavy, that's Ring for Game. It's like on the table. Unless he just said another solemn, I'm not sure. Um, now his ring is a lethal blow if he can play around that book of moon, mm -hmm. perhaps. Um, snatch snatch deal, is good. Snatch deal is crazy right now. Um, yeah. So dark and gray for WGM though. He's thinking about the line he has to take here. He's got six cards in hand. What can they be? Tribe infecting virus, and that's a good card. Let's see what he discards here. Thinking about it, maybe he's trying to bait another solemn judgment. I think that's a really good play. Because Double solemn how many judgment. Thunder Dragons in the grave? None? None. Or no, both in the hand, huh? WGM has not played a solemn or a Thunder Dragon yet. Derek has no cards. So in he hand. had two in the hand. Wow, and passes. That is oh, not was, what I was expecting out of that turn. Yeah, WGM has is two of those two of those are Thunder Dragon for WGM. Um Derek has no cards in hand. A switch to attack. Oh wow. Oh wow. Gonna punch in here. All right, the hands probably look at something like Thunder Dragon Chaos Thunder... Meta Double Thunder Dragon. Oh, that's rough. I hate Thunder Dragon so mm -hmm. much. I hate the card. Do you hate it? I, I love I, it, but I, I hate it. I absolutely because it just sits in my hand for so long, and it's just sitting there. Just being an idiot, just in my hand. It just pisses me off. That's all. I love to hate that card. Hate to love it too. So he's got he's got two noblemen in the graveyard. He's got one mind control in the graveyard. No lights, no darks. If this is a gravekeeper's spy, I think we might have something happening. Um Let's see if Derek... Spy would be really good. But I Derek, don't no. think WGM likes Spy and Control. Derek might be wise to just try to swing with that Thunder Dragon and then banish with the Sork, trying to keep him off Chaos. Getting WGM on Chaos is not a good idea. But this is... Uh, it's actually a really good point. Yeah, I would... I would but you, your life points are getting pretty low. I mean, if he did slip a Spy in there, 400. Now you're sitting at 650. Um... Now, how many Thunder Dragons is a Thunder Dragon in hand? No, can't be in hand because he had no cards in hand the other turn before. So, can't tribute summon the Serp. If that's Magician of Faith, he already flips that, oh, slams yeah. the Nobleman. Oh man, he gets back the scapegoat this time. Okay, and he takes the. So he just smacks in for twenty three. WGM thinking about that attack. It must be a little bit of lag. Okay, okay. So maybe maybe it's just a little lag, a little lag activity. All yeah, right. it, it, it's, it's seeming a little glitchy for me. Sets one. What was the hand? I think that Heavy Storm maybe have been good again, too, to kind of get that third Solemn Judgment out of the way in the event that's what the it was. Issue is, the issue is life points. At this point, he loses next turn. He needs something to protect the life points. However... He also, oh, he's just going to play the goats oh, hard, here. Hard, hard wow. play the scapegoats. He can still set a monster. He's thinking about the hard play of the scapegoats. Hard playing scapegoats is a, a very, second... is a very desperate move, I've noticed in my experience. Uh, he's just trying to play around Regeki Break, MST. Did he mm. play? MST? Mm. Yeah, he's trying to play MST around. MST is gone. Yeah. He's trying to play around those uh, end phase situations hard plays scapegoats give him thumbs up it's going to pop those tokens on the table uh tokens come down this is pretty good if he can if he can set something valuable here to also protect in case he has tribe 
Oh, it's got to be something good because Tribe. Well, he just loses anyways. Yeah, Tribe. He needs is... to set a mirror force or something too. Yeah, where are his some protection, man? A Book of Moon or something? Where are your cards at? You need to talk to your shuffler, man. You're going through 20 cards. You haven't protected yourself one time. I think that's WGM great. might not like the purple cards, man. Yeah, I mean, you got to have some, some, a Book of Moon or something. A Wavaku or something. Dang. Just protect yourself. Karibo. At. Karibo. Magical Cylinder. Life Draining Shield. Whatever the hell that damn card is called. Draining Shield. Draining Shield. Spice. <laughs> Freaking, uh, what's that? What's that other card? Enchant. Javelin. Javelin. Enchanted Javelin. Something. Gate Attack. <laughs> yeah, the Gate Attack would be sick at oh, this point. sir. In anything... Anything that could protect your LPs at this point, because he has not set a sink like he set the scapegoats and the wing blasts, and he's gone I, twenty cards in this game. He's drawn every monster in his whole deck. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, very very interesting game to say the least. And this is for money if you're just tuning in, <laughs> just tuning in. Uh, this is for uh, <laughs> twenty five dollars. Um, winner winner take all. I mean that's that's a little that's a. That's a light snack. We have meta in hand here. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> snack. It's a nice little trip to the old, the old <laughs> jack in the box. You go in and out, you know. Nice so little... Whatever your uh, whatever your fast food fancy is. Oh, uh, we are, we are not your fast food we, fancy. We are we are not sponsored by Jack in the Box or In and Out. Uh, if I had to go to fast I food, have, I don't even know why I said those. <laughs> I don't even have those where I live. If if I had to if I had to just go get some fast food, I am a basic. I am a basic Betty. I'm going to Wendy's, perhaps. Bro, oh, yes, dude. <laughs> Wendy's is the move. If, if I just if I just had to do some fast food, I'd probably go to Wendy's, or uh, I'll probably end up going to like uh, what's the what's the what's the what's the sandwich the sandwich place? Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's, dude. I'll Jimmy John's up quick, man. Yeah, That's my Jimmy favorite. John's. It's it's a it's a thin sandwich, <laughs> but it's a good sandwich. I mean, you gotta get the double meats. Got to be a double meat, baby. Yeah, yeah it's oh. always got to be the double meats. But I just don't—I don't like that I'm sub subjected to having to get double meat. Like, ask, I feel like I should just be given the double meat. Nah, I shouldn't have but, to ask for it. But then, if you just give you the double meat, that's going to be the standard. And then you don't want the standard. Then you're going to have to get quadruple meat, and that's just too much meat. Because it's lunch, you know what I'm saying? They got to have a whole pound of meat sitting there trying to digest that and go back to work. Come on now, Derek is still. I'm, on the I'm all about the protein here. <laughs> Derek, speaking of being on the protein, Derek is still on the play. Is he lagging out? I can't tell. I don't know what is going on. He might be – he could be one of the slowest players I've ever seen. Oh, man, that's a – and that's a tall order. Because there's some very slow people out here playing this game. People there's very – slow ones. Okay, maybe not the slowest I've ever seen, but it, it's, it's, it's possibly slower than me, which is saying something. I mean, uh, it's some it's very uh, – Rush is in the main phase one. It's a, it's some very pensive, pensive – uh, thought-provoking players out there. I just wish um, I want to sit down in the coach's corner, maybe, and like get a real pensive player in there. Just tell me what are you thinking about? It's actually, you know, that that would be a good segment. You need to get Geisty in there, and, and you need to get him telling you why he thinks the way he does. Because maybe there's something to it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, like, I just want to say because because I was talking to Ivan, who is shout out to Ivan. Very very dope player, but he is a notorious Ivan. notorious pensive player. Not slow. Just very, uh, de very, very, uh, you know, deliberate. I would say a very deliberate player. And uh, I was asking, I was like, hey, what are, what are you, what are you thinking about when you take a little bit of time? And he says that he's thinking about things that you wouldn't even think about thinking about. Quote. I didn't, I didn't make that up. That's what oh, he said. Whoa. And I was like, whoa. man, that just really like Carl Peace, Sagan, bro. like Carl, like Carl Sagan just opened my mind to the fourth dimension. I'm like, bro, Ivan goes into the fourth dimension to find plays. And that's what he's thinking about when I'm sitting here just like, hey, that's a green card. I like green cards and play it, dude. That's that's where I'm at, dude. <laughs> just like, Tell um, me before every tournament, Ivan does a shaman dose, yeah. gets by himself, and goes, just allows the cards to flow through him. Okay, go, go, I understand. This goes, is what I have to do to win. Goes into his mind pa palace like freaking Sherlock Holmes, freaking thinks about 14 million. I don't know. That's where Derek's at right now. Derek's deep in the think tank. And Derek some... is in there. Derek is floating right now. <laughs> Derek is in the float tank. Why is that Thunder Dragon in the fence? Why? What? What is going on? I don't know. See, that's, that'll, that's what happens sometimes. It's, is he... Oh, he's going for the lock? Why would he go for the lock? That is foolish. Silly. He's, 
He has 12 cards. He has less cards. You can't lock someone. The whole point about a goat lock, if you're just tuning in, you don't know what a goat lock is. You have to have less cards than your opponent in order to pull it off. That's what that is. I don't, I don't know what, uh, what Derek's He's going to get. He's going to. Yeah, he's going to get decked out before <laughs> WGM does. So he's I'm gonna... not sure. He had no back row there. This is silly. I don't this know. This is what... silly here. I don't. I don't know what what. It... He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to come on and explain explain what the hell that was all about. I would like to get the winner or loser or whoever wants to come onto the show after this and kind of talk about how it went now. But that that's interesting. You should just start swing. But maybe he's thinking about a. Maybe a, a BLS coming to Regeki break. Go ahead and discard the Sork. What are you doing, baby? Hitting the upstart. Bluff Central. I Man. am so in I am so confused by it. And then he plays upstart, right giving him another What are you doing? Now Rain kills you, Derek, baby. Play the game. Okay. Whew, yeah, man, this, this is, is uh, this is this is There's gonna be some riled up conversation. Yeah, after this was this, this is I don't like it. I don't And I, I rarely criticize people's play because I'm not a very good player myself. So I like to stay as humble as I can and just maybe give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But Derek is absolutely blowing my mind with some of the things he's doing right now. Um, this is, this I'm is trying to go deep into my own <laughs> mind right now, and deep I'm, into it. So he slaps everybody Real deep he to try to understand what's going on. He puts everybody in defense mode. Maybe he's trying to play around metamorphosis and, um, cause maybe he thought that set was magician of faith. He flipped the faith, get back heavy storm, Sack the faith for a thunder dragon meta. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. I really well, don't. He doesn't lose to meta take sork swing over thunder dragon, so that doesn't sound like it makes any sense. Uh, I'm maybe, not quite sure what he's, maybe, waiting uh, for he's right thinking. Now. Like, maybe he's waiting for tribe now. He's gonna sit here and wait for WGM to draw a ring of destruction and kill him. That's what he's gonna sit here and do if he doesn't do this something. Is, this is some silly this goose is, action this is, here. This is asinine. This is asinine. I don't know. Maybe. You tell Just me. Folks at home, to... Get into the comment section and tell me what the hell Derek's doing. I lo Shout out to Derek, man. He's playing this game. He he rose to the challenge. Maybe he's maybe he's way out front. Maybe he's on a next a next wave that we just don't know. Trying to get deep into the interwebs of my brain right now, and I'm only finding an yeah. empty stomach because I'm hungry. I'm and not I'm, sure what's going on. And I'm just scrolling through the chat, and everyone's everyone's scratching their heads. Everyone's saying, like, what the hell is going on? Oh, I yeah? Got, Should I jump in the chat right just, now? Just jump into the chat and throw, throw a poll out there. Fucking, what the hell is Derek doing? Fucking, who knows? I should make a poll. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to be rude mid-game, but... <laughs> yeah, that's what, man, this is... This is, um... Interesting. Type of play to potentially upset your grandmother. <laughs> He slaps one down and throws it over to Derek. Derek is dead. He's still. If he if he decks himself out, that'll be the funniest way to lose a game I've ever seen in my life. It would be probably one of the most <laughs> embarrassing losses in the history of goat format. How, to have someone goat lock themselves to beat you is hilarious. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, he's doing it backwards. Does he know that yeah, when he ask. draw when he runs out of cards, he loses, or does he think he wins? <laughs> that possible there's no way that's possible that can't be right maybe he's got a big car destruction play that's not nine it can't car destruction for nine he he i think if if i think i'm correct here which i'm usually never correct he's probably trying to dig to tribe he maybe has a solemn set so that if that's mirrored force or something he can summon tribe Get rid of all these goats, swing in for game. But, but I you, don't know why he would have. But, but Shaggy, if you if you would just scroll over the banish pile and check what monsters are out of play for Derek, but yeah, you'd be this surprised. Is, this is why. This <laughs> is be, why. You'd be, you'd be surprised. You'd, 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 <laughs> you'd be surprised. Not good at this. No, you're good. You're good. But you'd be surprised what monsters you see in his out of play zone. You will see a one of tribe infected virus sitting clearly banished in the second dimension. And uh, with the Asura priest, so, with the, yeah, so the he, odds of him, <laughs> what is he waiting for the second one? Maybe he has another Asura priest. Another Asura priest would be would be pretty dope. Another Asura priest in nine would be pretty good. All right, that, so that would be interesting. Little uh, advice to the kids back home: make sure you're checking the banish pile <laughs> and graveyard, so you're not shaggy playing around a card that's not in game. It's a good option. As well. Maybe. Hmm. 
don't know. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's back in the think tank. Whatever the hell you're thinking about is not it, man. You need to. This is. This is this I don't is think hard. he's thinking about this game. This, maybe this, he's thinking about something he ate at lunch, or maybe something he said to this person the other day that's making him feel real bad. I'm not sure what he's thinking about, but I don't think it's this game. Gonna set another monster. What if he, oh, dude? This is this is this is hard to watch. At least that's another one. Maybe it's a just, a, a morphine jar, car destruction, serial spell situation. Maybe Derek's got the text that we don't know about. Cause this spice. This is this is this is truly. Tell, w team hits tell me, he's got the modern. That's a great card. That is nice, and in, this might. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how grateful are you when you hit the graceful? When I hit the graceful, um, especially in a tight spot like this, seventeen cards in, it's it's a feeling that I cannot uh, that I cannot describe. It feels almost as good as the opposite of when my opponent pot into duo into graceful cherries on me turn one, which just happens to me more often than it should. This feels great. I, I guarantee WGM is probably I, over the moon right now. I hit the graceful. I feel. <laughs> Pretty darn good. I feel like I just bit into some of the most delicious cheesecake <laughs> I've ever had. Oh, dude. I love cheesecake. Oh, he tosses out the saying it, so keep, he keep, okay, he's keeping... Okay, well, there's the dark. There's the dark. <laughs> he reveals the Nobman of Cross out on... New set. It's got to be the new set. Hits the saying in. He's probably trying to keep that. Uh, he's probably trying to keep that Reaper on the Nightmare Horseplay open because he does still have a Thunder Dragon in his hand. And Derek, that could be a Ring of Destruction that's down there now. Derek is looking, looking bad. I, I don't know what. It's eight cards left. Maybe he's waiting on BLS, which isn't live. I mean, you'd have to get get another light in there, which seems like you've been cut off from your your face out of play. Your two of your Thunder Dragons are gone. One on the field. I don't know what the hell is going on. I can honestly say I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish I wish uh I wish someone too. Maybe we need Derek in the coach's corner. I'm asking the, the chat again. Uh is there any theory on what Derek is doing? Does anyone know? Please. If you're if you're watching this, it's gonna be a slight tape delay. This is not fully live, but I will uh, <laughs> upload this uh to the YouTube and just just let me know what you're thinking. Let let Shaggy and I know what's going on. Dude, I have no. I really don't know what's going on. Oh, I, have, shout out. I I am pretty sure this is not correct. Shout out to AJT BLS. He's saying that he he's he's reading that there is a big bang shot Ashura Priest in the eight cards that are coming up, and he's just waiting on it. Interesting. That I mean, AJT is good. He's seen a lot of stuff. He's played a ton of games, so maybe maybe he's got the right play, right call. Big bang shot would be a pretty a pretty sick way to walk away with this thing. It's just wild because. <laughs> He gets rid of all these cards in two turns anyways. Like, the, the turn WGM hard summons these scapegoats and sets a monster. He has the Serpent set, Thunder Dragon, Chaos Sorcerer. He gets rid of three goats that turn. And the next turn, even if he sets another monster, he could summon another monster or whatever. Like he, the point is, like, these cards are gone. He just attacks. Doesn't seem correct. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems. It's. It seems. I'm. I'm trying to find out right now. I'm just sitting. He's already burned two solemn judgments. So he's probably. He's probably got one solemn down to kind of save his ass from ring. Uh, WGM is smart. He re realizes ring is a, a definite win condition at this point. So he's probably going to try to navigate around that third solemn judgment before he executes the ring of destruction play, which he's probably already already got. Um, but still, man. I don't even think he has to do anything. I don't think he has to do anything. I think Derek's the one that has to do something. And even if he has Solemn set, it's only one Solemn. So if WGM has Mirror Force, Ring, and, I don't know, another Scapegoat set, like, he has multiple answers that that one Solemn can't deal with. Dude, this is crazy. This is, this is banana bread. I don't know. 
Really banana good. bread is so good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I would I just, do a oh, lot I, for banana. I did not eat dinner after I got home from work. Dude, so I, got I am some, any food item. Dude, you don't want to I got some teriyaki right here, man. I wish I could just teleport. Teriyaki oh, what? Teriyaki chicken, man. Come on. Damn, I'm sorry, dude. Good. You gotta go get some food. After this, after this, we got a little bit more. Go get some food, man, and get it in your get it in your system. And I'm coming. You yeah. know, I'm coming to see you uh, next week. I'm coming to Florida, and I'm going Wait, to. Wait, that's next week. Oh no, no, on the next week? no, no, on the fifth, fifth through the fifteenth. So it's probably around like the ninth, ninth. So next next week, okay. two weeks from now. Yeah. All right. We're gonna shoot something. Before, break... You gotta come before the fifteenth because before the 15th. I have blackout dates at work. There's this huge. The entire hotel is bought out for this thing called Grand Getaways and a bunch of Jewish people stay at the hotel for, I believe, Passover uh -huh. for 10 days. They, they're not allowed to use electricity. Oh, it's dude. crazy. I, I have no idea what I'm in store for, but it sounds insane. But I can't take off work. So okay, I will be there before, I will before be, the 15th. I will be bringing my, my Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling cards as well. So I expect to have a in-person match. Maybe I can record that and put that on the channel as well. Uh, JDZ versus... We're doing it 100%. <laughs> JDZ versus Shaggy live duel with the Yu-Gi-Oh dueling cards. I don't know what cards I'm gonna bring, what deck I'm gonna make. It's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be dicey. And Derek is oh SG, uh, WGM is thinking right now. He's got four sets. I think he's trying to play around this whole card destruction thing too, because now he realizes this may be an option and it may kill him. He starts. He needs to start running through some cards as well to uh, to not die. That could be that could be interesting. Oh, the card destruction is a possibility. I mean, we haven't seen Night Assailants from Derek. But that doesn't mean, you know, Turbo can have the card destruction whether you're playing Night Assailants or not. And yeah. card destruction would hurt bad. Can you imagine Flip Morphing Jar, like card destruction Flip Morphing Jar or something like that? That would be hilarious. Or I could see like a, like a, just a random, just a random giant Trunade Flip card destruction. That'd be pretty hilarious. I think WGM is, he's playing around it now. He's like, okay, you're not about to, this is interesting. You're not about to card destruction me. He's going for one random. Okay, trying to hit that, uh, hit hitting that random card. Who knows what it could have been? Maybe it's a solemn judgment. It's a one out of three chance. I think setting him back a turn. I think he might be trying to set up that ring play now. Trying to get that uh, sacrifice. I think he's gonna go for the reaper on the nightmare. Maybe reaper on the nightmare and phase ring. That's or... possible. ring he got a book it or he's got a solemn judgment it this is awesome yeah but he yeah. has to solemn or book and if he solemns or books then the meta play is still live <laughs> yeah the, the reaper nightmare is coming in for i think that is lethal he books the he books the, the that's fine because now he goes it's meta fine. this is this is fine for wgm if he has meta upstart okay looking for maybe an mst Well, that kind of stinks. You're giving him two thousand. Interesting. So the ring play did not did not go the way that he wanted it to. Uh, he definitely and navigated Reaper around. Reaper now. I mean, it doesn't even. It's just not even that good because yeah. he's got so much life points. Hmm. Wow, that was a that was a gambit. But now W Gem, he probably he probably wants to do that because he didn't want card destruction to. Wipe him out of this game, uh, so I think now he's in a very he's in a safe a safer range to not have that a happen. safer range. Yeah, yeah, safer range. They're at equal cards in hand. He doesn't have to pitch cards each turn to keep cards out of his hand. Um, yeah, but I'm looking at these. So I don't think you know, at the end of the day, Derek is the one that has to make the move. He's got less cards in the deck, so a play like that is worth the risk. You know, and you know what's crazy. All WGM needs is just if this if one of these guys is torrential tribute, what's Derek gonna do, man? What is he gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah. He didn't get to burn the third solemn, which I'm, I'm sure he would like to get out. But yeah, man. Yeah, it, in that getting rid of that third solemn, TT would be fantastic. Plus, is probably in the hand at this point. Oh, he duos. Um, so now we know that card destruction is Issue. no longer an option. Thing is, is that those are some probably really good cards in the hand. Oh, man. In BLS. Was, oh, was, there it was, is. That was a win condition right is. there. That was a win condition.
Yeah, I am certain there was probably a line there where WGM's waiting to TT summon BLS. Yeah, I think, or TT normal summon and then get that solemned and then BLS. Derek's back into the think tank. Just interesting because usually game states like this are in control mirrors. And this looks almost like a control mirror with how many monsters and tokens are on the field, but it's not. <laughs> it's just this this honestly I don't I don't know what uh maybe Derek's got a mega brain. He probably saw force force foresaw all of this and just thought about it. I'll thunk WGM on this one. I don't know, but this is a very interesting. Pretty way to play likely game. he this... has a bigger brain than mine and my caveman brain. So this is this is a He's very very interesting spicy. Game. I want to know what it is. A very interesting way to play this game, I would say. I would absolutely say. I don't know, but we're going at about an hour right now. We came in just a little bit late. Uh, this game is going very slow. Uh, this is game two. <laughs> this is game two. So there may be another game after this, and we're already. And they uh, they were talking about playing multiple matches. Not a chance. This is a one and done, dude. I would... oh yeah, it's a one and done. There's no way. This game's taking. Far too long. This is the type of game where you're calling the judge. Need admin for the yeah. pace of this game. This is round. We're on round three in the bracket, and this is the round one game that's still holding everything up. And now he's going to start. Derek is making a move. Yeah. Now he's going to start banishing. That is he. That is so crazy to me. I'm not sure what he's doing. Flip the Sukiyomi. Set one. Do you flip, banish again? I guess. But like, well, if you're gonna do that now, why didn't why didn't you just do that? Oh, right into the T. TW. There's the TT. Is he gonna bait the solemn? No solemn. That sucks for. That's Mr. putting Jared. attributes in the graveyard for he, him. He does have light and dark. He could still summon a chaos monster. Is this game? Is and he going? Is he going? How BL many chaos monsters are gone? Breaker comes down. BLS is game. That's brutal. Gotta be a scapegoat. It has to be. Must be scapegoat because BLS is the end of the game. If he has it, which he should have it with six cards left. Maybe he was waiting on that BLS draw. Maybe he drew out. I don't know. Oh man, this might be game. If that's not scapegoat and he has BLS in hand, it's it's. And with six cards left in deck, it's likely BLS. It, it, it and it is live. I ain't drinking enough hard water for this game. I'm not sure what's taking so long here. It is a bluff. Is it ring? Snatch it's deal. Snatch and deal. it slammed the BLS. BLS. Wow. Oh, my goodness. GG. Wow. Well wow. played by Derek. That well game played. worked. Well played. That's interesting. I mean, I would like to know the thought process. I think he, I mean, it, whatever. whatever. Like, I want to know the line he was thinking of. And he, and he goes, he pops off in the comments, stay free, he says. And he called him a bozo, dude. And he just pimped off, dude. And he sent the cash app. Oh, that is pretty sad. Wow, no re. No, no re. He no said re. he was about multiple matches, depending on. Oh, wow, man. willing to play four matches tonight. Oh, Plays man. Plays the one, takes the easy win, and. Pimps off, man. That bounces. That, wow. Hey, hey, that. That is not what call, I was expecting. Call one it. game only. Call, one match only? I, this I, is what we signed up for. I mean, call it call it how you want to call it, man. But that's that's uh that is a lot. I don't know if I can do another hour and a half match. But that's shout out to Derek, man. He called it. He played it. He won the game. I definitely can't. I, that was a very interesting way to do that, and it worked out. Um, man, I think that was a. Whew. What do you guys think, man? Shout out money matches. Twenty twenty five dollars is going to Derek. Shout out to him. Shout out to Team Solitaire. Shout out to the Go Format War League Ultra Instinct all day. Shout out to everyone who's participating. And then uh, tell me what you think about this we're going to get more feature matches more money matches more high intensity matches high level high rank matches um featured on this channel as well probably unedited uncut i don't know maybe i might throw some edits in here too later on we'll see but that's all i have i've been jdz this has been mr shaggy p
Aggie P, Shaggy out P. here. Enjoy your Jimmy Johns, Derek, with your and, 25. And we're Great out, job. man. Thank you guys for watching. I'm JDZ Plays Goats. Till next one. Peace.